In the name of Allah, the most merciful, start our class. Hello, and welcome everyone. We are in second intermediate grade, full blast for second semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson today is 4A, getting a creative one, read and vocabulary, prepared and presented by Muhammad Falah. What we are going to learn today? We are going to learn new vocabulary relating to our subject, getting creative then we're going to answer some question after reading the passage then i'm going to help you to create expectation about the text okay are you ready so warm up question what's your talent everybody has a talent what's your talent what's your talent are you good in soccer are you good in drawing? What's your talent? Okay, getting creative. The start, reading the headline, and look at the picture. What do you think the text is about? Listen, read, and shake your answer. Okay, it's reading time, everybody. And this is the picture, this is the headline. What do you think the text will be about? First prize for teen artists. And this is the picture. Okay, let's listen. Please follow the audio. Okay, follow with your eyes, please. Module 4 The Arts. 4A Getting Creative. 1. Read. A. Read the headline and look at the picture. What do you think the text is about? Listen, read and check your answers. First prize for teen artist. Guildford Council announced the winner of their wall design competition last night. And it was quite a surprise. They wanted local artists to design something to go on the huge north wall of the new town hall. Thousands of professional artists entered the competition, but the lucky artist who won wasn't one of them. In fact, he's a student called Tim Blake, and he's just 13. The design which Tim created is colourful and fun, and it's just the sort of image that we wanted to brighten up the town, says Andrew Wilkins the organiser of the competition. Tim was really surprised with his win and wants to enter more art competitions now. I was sitting in the town hall listening to the organiser and waiting for the result when all of a sudden he read out my name. I couldn't believe it, said Tim. Tim's design is going to appear on the new town hall and hopefully stay there for many years to come. But that's not all. The winner of the competition receives £5,000. Tim's going to spend some of the money on a new computer so he can work on his future designs. But he's not sure what he's going to do with the rest of it yet. OK, we just listen to the text. Please read it again, pause the video, go back and read it again. Write T for true or F for false. Okay, let's read the question first, then pause the video, read or listen to the text again. Okay, Tim's design will decorate one side of the town. Is it true or false? Number two, Tim is a professional artist. T or F. Three, Tim found out that he was the winner from a newspaper article. T or F. But one Tim design will decorate one side of the town. It's true. Tim is a professional artist. False. Just a boy. Tim found out that he was the winner from a newspaper article. Of course, false. He was sitting and announced the name. Okay, Tim didn't expect to win. Of course, it's true. He couldn't believe it. 
Five, Tim had decided to enter similar competition in the future. Two, six, Tim will spend all of the prize money on a new computer. False. Okay, some of it. Not all. Okay? Hope you got it right. Now, read again. What do the highlight words refer? Okay? And they. One and they. What do the highlight words refer to? So please pause the video, go back to the text, and what do the highlight words refer to? They. They refer to Guilford Council, of course. Them refer to professional artist. It's all pronouns, okay? Three, he, Tim Blake, for it, Tim's design, he, number five, he, the competition organizer, six, there, the new town hall, seven, it, the award money, the award money, okay? Now, use the nouns given to form adjective and complete the sentences. Note, very important note, we form some adjective by adding Y, O, U, S, or F, U, L. Two nouns. For example, cloud, cloudy, adventure, adventurous, help, helpful. Okay. Let's now ask some questions. Let's test our vocabulary, everybody. Number one, I think life in the country is more blank than life in the city. We have here the noun, and we need, as we took earlier, the adjective or adverb, okay? I think life in the country is more peaceful, okay? Peaceful. Okay, peace, the noun, peaceful, okay? We add full. Two, the leaves of some plants are blank, poison. Of course, the word is poisonous, okay? O-U-S. Number three, the traffic on high field road is very blank for children. Danger, of course, dangerous. Number four, the internet is really blank when you need information for a project. The use, of course, of course, useful. Useful. Number five, we couldn't go sailing today because it was too when the word is when, of course, Wendy. Wendy, add Y here, okay? Six is too blank in this cafe and I can't hear your noise. Of course, noisy, it's too noisy in this cafe and I can't hear you. Seven, the doctor said that Barry is a very blank young boy. The word is health, healthy of course. The doctor said that Barry is a very healthy young boy, okay? Number eight, my exams went well, so I'm quite blank about my marks. I'm quite hopeful. Hope, hopeful, right? F-U-L, okay? Hope you got it. Okay, everybody, in this lesson, we have recognized new, new vocabulary, and we read the text, then we answer a question about text. See you next class, everybody. Goodbye.